So, hey everybody, this is Ostoni, and welcome back to Pokemon Y Episode 6. Now, this is going to be a little bit different for me because this is going to be a recording of me watching my recording because the audio wasn't recorded whenever I did two episodes of this. Everything else is just fine whenever I upgraded to this. So you guys get to see it earlier. So this is going to be different. An acquaintance of yours, two visitors to Shenbur Castle. Hey day. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle chateau, if you will, is a manor house of our noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. <laughs> During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone, so that's why it's so empty. The end. That's not a very good story. That's it. Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? <laughs> that's it. What the world is Mega Evolution? You ass. <laughs> God, this is aggravating. <laughs> and it's weird. <laughs> Sir, it's back again. Is that that time of the year already? Well, all right, nothing we can do about that now. Or nothing I can do about that now. I need to go to Route 7. Please take your time and have a look around. Okay. wonder what that was all about. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? Yeah, fuck this place. There ain't nothing in here. Nothing. This is... This is so fucking weird. Hey, there's no alarms! It's Big Kitty! <laughs> so weird. Here we go again. It's sleeping soundly. The end of the world couldn't wake it. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely. Not the road, a bridge, maybe. Come now, Sarah, use the poke flute. Oh, wait, do you even have it anymore? Nope, handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the place, or palace. What, huh? What's a poke flute? Basically, the poke flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But the poke flute is currently at Parfum Palace. Oh, that's that. All we need to do is go get it there. It's never that simple, bitch. It's just past Route 6. Oh, it's just past Route 6. Then maybe in a place like that we could learn something about Mega Evolution. That was good timing on my part. Yeah, and there's a hidden item over here, so be wary of that. A heal ball in case you want it. But you can buy them regularly at this point of the game, I'm pretty sure. You can probably get them at the um, Pokeball store in Lumoy City. Actually, that's only that's only after you go back there for the second time, now that I remember. Let's see. Ah, uh, memories of... Pokemon that haven't evolved all the way yet and not have a number six. That's right, I've recorded it all the way up to the point where number six is in my party, and I am so happy about it. You are challenged by tourist Horiko. Sent out Pikachu. I will say though, I got a little too psyched up whenever um, number six, whenever I got to battle with number six for the first time. But, um, it, it was a moment for me. And I think I sound a lot different than I do um, whenever you guys hear me on recordings. I don't know, like, how to describe it. Like, vocals to ear for myself just sounds different than what's outputted through the, um, through the microphone. So, yeah. Alright, now we're gonna send, uh... Let's see. Yep, Zayborg out. Alright, versus Pidgey. Thank god I can only have to do two of these. Alright, an Electro Web! Do it! A 
I'm not gonna really mention the whole upgrade to everything because I um, do that um, in after these two videos just so happen to be the videos that I do upgrade my equipment so you guys will find out all that stuff whenever I actually upgrade it to it so it doesn't sound just like I'm keeping on repeating myself all right Zayborg let's see can you are you sleepy? I just woke up. Add this on to the fact that um, my computer was fucking up for a pretty good amount of time yesterday. And also the fact that, um, let's see, the um, AV cable in my HD PBR um, Gaming Edition 2, um, the bottom part of it, got messed up so it can't hold the cords in correctly so I had to order a new one although I did get um, two-day shipping it cost me a total of about $26 um, for the entire thing shipping and the cord so I think that's about I think it'll be worth it if it fixes the problem if the ports all jacked up obviously I'll have to return it and figure out some other way to uh, record for the PS3 but yeah, it, yesterday sucked. All right, I'm gonna take this bitch down with Shadow Sneak. Sneaky. Sorry, Ralts. Ralts is a Pokemon that I actually want to um, do a playthrough with. Just so happens I have a shiny female one with, uh, I think, a timid nature. So I may wind up doing a playthrough with that. And the way that one will probably work is I'll probably just um, record gym leader battles and um, very big highlights like that. Like I said, I, I've i actually got a lot of um, Pokemon in mind that I'd like to use whenever I start going to competitive. Let's see, it's Shadow Sneak. Oh! Gulpin didn't go down. Gulpin's not going down! Go! <laughs> Don't fall asleep, Umber. Don't fall asleep, girl! Don't fall asleep, girl! <laughs> Brewis got level 20. Cool. Wants to learn Razor Leaf. And I'm all like, no. No. <sighs> Already got um, his moves pretty much picked out. And Krokona or Freakzilla is about to learn Ice Beam. But then again, I have Ice Punch. So what's the point? Unless they're going to give them a mega evolution with strong jaw ability, in which that would be okay, but at the same time, the only one that's worth keeping at all is probably Ice Fang, since it covers against um, one of his weaknesses. Crunch is good and all, but doesn't really cover against one of his weaknesses. I guess if you just want to do type coverage... Then yeah, I guess that's cool. Now if you made him into a water ice or something like that, then like Ice Fang would with that combination become a priority, but I'm getting off topic here. What the matter? The entrance fee will be one thousand dollars per person. WTF, you gotta be kidding me, it's thought. You see, the owner of this palace um, follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Mm. Yeah, it's just how the rich keep getting richer. Who's the entrance fee? One thousand dollars! <laughs> the proceeds go to repairing the roof. Probably. Probably. That's good enough for me. I believe you. I believe you, nice butler person. 
you're not being made to do this, or you aren't being put up to, or you aren't the one that chose to do this. The owner of the place is doing it. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're gonna go with. Fuck. Mm. All right, there's a Milotic statue and a whole bunch of bishops. I need some of this. My free free, my beloved little free free has disappeared. And disappeared? Hey, big O. We said, how look? I mean, if my if my Pokemon were missing, I'd be a word thick. Oh, all right then. Let's go outside and look. Now there's a hidden item out here as well, and it should be either near the black or white statue out here. I forget which one I find it. I think I find it at the white. Yep. It's the black one. If you actually zoom out and look at this, you can actually find that there are a few um, Pokemon that are um, hidden in the uh, patterns of this, or in the uh, shrubbery patterns. Yep, there we are, Rare Candy. It's actually near the fountain, everybody. I don't think Rare Candies are such a big deal now because of the fact that you have super training and you don't really miss out on any IVs or anything like that. So, yeah. That's just my opinion on that. That path over there leads to a dead end. Let's split up a tooth for her own corner there. I'll keep it from getting away. So pick a spot to stand. Let's see. Over there. Over there. Uh, so you have to choose a spot for her to stand in so that the Fru-Fru doesn't try and go away. Let's see, the best spot would probably be for her to stand right here at this point. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yep. Good. Okay. And then you just take her and you move her to this spot right here. Right here. Remember, she'll only wait in one of those little square areas. And... Then he's cornered. I'm surprised he doesn't just try to bite our faces off or something like that if it's so afraid. Oh, my dear Fuffer, my beloved Fuffer. Could I tell you be responsible for my wonderful <laughs> reunion with my dear Fru-Fru? How wonderful in God damn you and fru <laughs> Put on firework display. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. Go. Go! What did I say here? What the world did I say? God, I must have went on for a little while there. Rendezvous. I know what rendezvous means. Condescending asshole. Fire Pokemon, I hate to be able to try it like that. But I really like fireworks! I like bright and shiny stuff! Like Jory. Yeah, I'm making fun of a lot of people's favorite Poke Girl. Alright, going back inside. Trying to be as enthused as I can about this because technically this is just the result of a fuck up on my part and I have no idea why it happened. Because to my knowledge, 
all the recordings from that day were done at the same time and nothing had changed. But you know what? It's fine now. Because I'll have to worry about that shit ever again. Because I have a mic. A legitimate one. Um, you know, I've never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. I'm, I'm not that... I'm not your type. Or, you're not my type. Yeah. Keep your hand away from me. Dratinis. I haven't even seen them, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks. Because I watched them with you, Stoney. You're not my type. You're not. You're not. Bang, 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 bang. Right in the middle of the day, too. That's... Why, why in the middle of the day? You couldn't wait till night? You couldn't just change the time till night for just this little part? Wow! That was amazing! I never ever want to forget this. I'll keep this memory in my... in an album in my heart. That's a weird way to put it. And that was... <laughs> He probably sounds like that too. Wonderful. For my fripper. I assume that you're satisfied with that? Hey! I almost forgot. The poker flute. That's right. We need the flute to wake up Snorlax. Yeah! Sigh, the poker flute, huh? Go get it. God. Dickhole. It was Shimmer's castle treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that didn't go together. Ass. Give it to the... <laughs> Here's the poke flute. This dude's just a dickhole. Overall. Just one big gigantic dickhole. You know what, everybody? We're all gonna get online in whatever Pokemon RP, MMO RPG this is, whenever they come out with one, and if we're allowed to visit the Kalos region and visit this guy's house, we're gonna have a dick punching party right in this dude's house because he's such an asshole! Hmm. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I'm sure he has a real name. I remember reading in a book on the library that... Subject... Fuck. It had something to do with how you'd call a trainer, um... Not call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making a Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. TM-17, protect! You get it through the story, everybody. Now you know. Protect, um, blocks opponent's Pokemon's moves. But if you use it many times in a row, the success of it not working increases. If you excuse me, I shall take my leave. The owner of Shambu Castle used to be friends with that guy! I have a life out? Isn't that crazy? But how do I start our gather pocket the back whenever we make a snarlack? I say we steal it. It's like I said, that dude's a dickhole. And MMORPG time rolls around for Pokemon dick punching party at this dude's manor. That's right, manor. Because technically it's not just a house, it's a huge fucking it's a huge fucking deal. Alright, here we go. Hmm. I can't find my way out. Come on! Come on! Is it this way? Yep, it is this way. Okay. I'll just go for the Myotech statue. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. The Furfuru um, is like scratching at the door going, TAKE ME WITH YOU! I'm all like, no, because you're still not really a good Pokemon yet. I just haven't. 
like I look at its attacks and everything and yeah oh yeah that spot back there if you want to catch yourself a hone edge you can um, go back there but I will warn you the um, the poke finder or whatever you want to call it poker radar um, that helps you find shinies it's also in that spot that I just kind of went into and jetted out of but um, the poke um, thing that helps you get shiny Pokemon I can't remember the name of it for the life of me and I couldn't remember it in this video it won't work in that kind of grass so yeah be wary of that. Um, if you want a hone edge, probably the best way to go about it is the Matsuda method. So yeah. Or you can just get a power saves like I did because I got really tired of filling up boxes to get them. I, I had about seven total. Or actually, no, that's about... It was about more than like, it was about 10-ish, I think it was. But yeah, we're about to play this and we're going to wake up Snorlax and we're going to kick its ass. Wouldn't that be something that would lull a Pokemon to sleep? Snorlax's eyes opened wide. Didn't seem to change. No large. Another Pokemon that could probably be a little bit better if a move tutor was in these games. In which, yeah, there is no move tutor in these games to teach him Thunder Punch and stuff like that. Let's see, that goes for um, other moves too. Aqua Tail, you can't um, move Tutor anymore. I remember this. He he decides to become a huge asshole. But then again, this does. Ah, oh, fuck. That's right, Citrus. Fucking Citrus Berry. You just lick on me. God, look at me. Although it's probably pretty cute. Big old Snorlax, like like. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start having some real fucking problems. Because Snorlax could use amnesia to just wall my shit. I don't even know why I used um, paralysis on him. Just kind of went with it. If I had um, Electro Ball on him, on a Zayborg, this battle would have been over by now. But, I decided to just keep on going with it. Whatever. I hope I didn't just steer off a train of thought that I had a second ago. I really do. And this should be it. Yep, that's it. Cool. Alright, gained an extra 607. Zayborg grows to level 19. The rest of the team got some. Veil Four to level 21. Wants to learn follow me. No thanks. Not one of the moves that I'm um, dedicated to having it learn. Snorlax fled towards the mountains. I wonder where Snorlax went. I think it'll come to sleep here again. Grr, oof. Oh. The only thing I can do with the Poké Flute is put it on display. But you've been playing it since you were little and the tone is lovely. It seems like my Frufuru also enjoyed the sound of the flute. Not as much as my beautiful, wonderful flowers, of course. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded uh, better back in the day. 
I'll let you keep that flute so you can practice more. Dick. Run for Ru! Run! Run! Is that supposed to be an attempt at patching things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I guess what lies past here when... I wonder what lies past here when Snorlax was sleeping. Well, guess what? We're gonna find out in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry that uh, my yawn threw out a lot of this and went off topic, but thanks. Like, comment, and subscribe to know when I'm coming out with the next video, and so forth and so on. This is Ostuni. Sign off! Girl!